Hello, I'm Mary, and welcome to the Tartan Topiary. Today, we're going to look at London Living through the photography of Simon Upton. Simon Upton is one of the foremost names in interiors photography. With nearly 30 years of published work to his credit, he is popular with many interior designers, and he is also the preferred photographer for a select group of international antique dealers and architectural practices. His first book, New York Interiors, was published in 2021. He not only travels the world photographing people and their homes, but he is a regular contributor to such publications as World of Interiors, Architectural Digest, Vogue, and Housing Garden. London Living presents a unique look into the homes of London-based interior designers, antique dealers, and musicians, while offering interesting commentary from all of them. Following the success of his first book, Simon Upton turns to London a city in which he has been based for most of his working life, exploring an incredible range of homes in this vibrant city. The book is divided into two parts, town and country with the homes of those living solely in London, and then showcasing those who divide their time between London and a retreat in the British countryside. London Living reveals a series of unique locations and perspectives. Each property is illuminated by an interview in which the owner defines the true meaning of what home means to them. In the introduction, Simon Upton writes, The joy of my profession as an interiors and lifestyle photographer is the daily discovery of the unexpected and wonderful places that people call home. He continues to write, The variety, richness, and creativity that exists in London takes my breath away, and I never lose my sense of excitement as I head off to a new location each morning. I see homes as portraits of the people who live in them, whether they are owned or rented. As such, I have tried to illustrate the importance of place, as well as the quintessential Englishness that is often 
so evident. London Living with the photography of Simon Upton edited by Karen Howes This book is 320 pages It is published by Vendome Press and it retails for $75 Back by popular demand is my husband, Daniel. We are going to be making and tasting for the first time some holiday cocktails from this deck of cards that I purchased at Williams Sonoma. This very merry cocktail deck contains 50 cards with seasonal drink recipes, ranging from champagne cocktails and party punches to toasty toddies and even non-alcoholic drinks. It can be purchased at Williams Sonoma or at chroniclebooks.com. Are we ready? I was born ready. Any card? Oh, the Quince Old Fashioned. Okay. Okay. The first drink that we are going to mix and taste is called a Quince Old Fashioned. So what you're gonna need is one teaspoon of quince paste. Okay. This was not easy to find. I did find it at World Market and I couldn't open it. Okay. I bet I can. <laughs> I can see why. What in the world? <laughs> Laugh it up. <laughs> now, it, don't. Daniel, your teeth are not tools. No joke, that's crazy. Okay. Under there. Okay, we're good. Oh, wow. We're good. Quince me. I'm going to need a drink after trying to open I know. Quince. <laughs> so you're just. And gonna, the sugar, okay. This is the equivalent to one sugar cube. So I think it's what, a teaspoon? Okay, there we go. Um, one one that's teaspoon. That's a couple of three of these in the glass. Okay. One for the glass and one for me. So first, I will muddle these things. I got it. Okay. And then we add what? You add water and bitters. Okay, here's the water. So we're going to do the water. Water. And so how much bitters goes in? Three, Three dashes. dashes. Okay. Here's some Angostura bitters. One, two, so we'll The wild turkey, I think it's over there. It is, it's right here. The gobbler. Okay. So I like that. That's real good. I can really do a turkey talk call. I know you can. If I was a female turkey, I'd be all up in your business. <laughs> 
This is fun. Luckily, I'm not a female turkey. For two ounces. Okay. One. You know, wild turkey was the second bit of alcohol that I ever drank a whole amount of. How old were you? 35. I had wild turkey at the age of 14. I'm sure you did. It was... I was a caddy at a golf course, and they left it in their golf bag, and I thought it was iced tea. I was a good little boy and waited until I was 30. I swear I thought it was iced tea. I was a good little boy. I had it at Peter Luger's Steakhouse in New York City. Did okay. You, did you talk like that? When you I did. I went, New York City. Okay. Daniel, this does not call for ice. It means it's neat. Okay. Well, this and is And that's neat. how my wild turkey was. And it was... Hard to, hard to get down for me well, as a first time drinker. You know what goes in it now? Wild turkey orange. is not so neat. Now. Does it orange? <laughs> Does orange go in it? Orange peel? Yes, for garnish. Okay. So you just kind of give a little go, twist it, and mash it. Get the oils get going. Get the oils going. This is like if I was going to invent a bourbon drink, this is the way I would make it in my, in my fantasy land. Okay. Because I'm not a bourbon drinker, but with quince paste, anything's going to taste good. I'm just giving it a good little stir. You want to try it first, sweetie? Let you be the first to try. How's that? I've had worse. Hey, that's what you said about me when we got married. I, exactly. <laughs> On our honeymoon. <laughs> is that funny? It is. Hold on. Take it easy. That was good. That was the way our bourbon should taste. That's the way I like bourbon. <laughs> That's the truth. I'm not making that up. That's the way I like I give that a 10 out of 10. That is a proper bourbon drink. It's a cherry thrown in there on a little skewer. Oh my gosh, those are fancy cherries. Scared to ask how much they were. Go ahead and give me one. I'm you don't want to open it yet? I need you to make a deposit into my check. Okay, later. okay. Is that a euphemism for something else? Oh, you're disgusting. <laughs> Just open that. Oh, these are those good kind. Take that. Stick it in there and squish it around. You know now what? you taste that. I think I will. These are the real fancy kind of cherries, Luxardo. Yeah, these are that's, great. That's not a bad drink. That's oh, a great drink. It would not be my first choice, but it's not I, bad. I would order that at a restaurant. Okay. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay. Close and my pick eyes. Pick a card. I'm not looking. The next drink we're going to make is called an apple pie. Yes. We are going to fill this with ice which is done that was a good noise wasn't it okay i got the whiskey so how much right here how three much? ounces Ooh. of whiskey three you just want to get me drunk i trust me i don't you uh, do? you're hard enough to deal with sober okay there you go sweetie two ounces of simple syrup two wow. two okay well, i love some simple syrup yeah that might be good yeah one Two. Okay. Now, the vanilla, vanilla is right is. there. Here. Just a drop. That's a drop. Was it? I like I like vanilla. Top it off with a little soda. Soda. Slice. Oh, we need a cinnamon stick. Okay, Hold there. On. I Let saw that stick. You're funny. There's, You're funny. There's the stick. There, there you're was. hilarious. <laughs> You're very funny. <laughs> okay, you want to drink it? Yes, try you, it. You try it first. I, I did the last one. Go ahead. You got a lot of soda on top. Drink, 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 drink. You got to drink it up good. There you go. I forgot what's in this one. Mm. Oh, <laughs> whiskey's tough, isn't it? Kanka! Woo! That tastes kind of like um, 
a slap in the mouth. Or Orange. remover. Paint thinner. Paint thinner. I can't drink it. It's almost as bad as that weird drink we had at the Marina restaurant. I don't like whiskey. That's my problem. The sad thing is that you don't like whiskey, but all your people are from Tennessee. I'm not all mine. Half of them are from here. I'm half so, hillbilly. Half hillbilly and proud of it. Let's do New Year's on the beach. Maybe. For a more fruity flair, we're going to mix a drink called New Year's on the beach. Let's do New Year's on the beach. Maybe okay. that will provide you fruity happiness. I hope so. So we have filled the shaker with ice and what you're going to do is put two ounces of light rum in there which is that right there. This one? Yes. Okay. And yep. put one ounce of lime juice I think that's probably this and a, a little bit of that. Also going to add one ounce of pineapple juice. Okay. This one's one. probably going to be it's right at my alley. Not too. Okay. One ounce of pineapple. Then one ounce of dark rum. Okay. Just so you're fresh also going to add one ounce nice. of fresh orange fresh juice. juice. This is going to be very good, I think. Fresh orange juice is my favorite thing to drink in the whole world. Okay. Now shake it like you mean it. Look at all that. You, you go ahead and try a sweet. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Be? Yeah. I can't imagine this being bad. It smells heavenly. Oh gosh. Fancy cherries. Yeah, put it Probably a dollar a piece. <laughs> okay. These if you've never tried these cherries, and you probably have, maybe I'm just late to the game with the fancy right, without a doubt. They are one of the most greatest little treats it's that like I've a had. It's dessert at the end of It's your very drink. oddly, the texture is half the fun, but the flavor is just knock your socks out. Oh my gosh, that just That's better. That did it. the game. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that smells good. Oh my goodness. That's a That's winner. a ten and a half. That's the best drink we've made. Right there. Yeah. That's the best drink we've made. And that was New Year's on the beach. That's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Last one. There's another one? Yeah. Okay, let me, let me drink a little bit of this. You really don't need to. <sighs> What's next? Oh, the fancy glass. This next drink is one called Silver and Gold. So, in an ice-filled shaker, mm -hmm. we're going to add three ounces three of tequila okay we are also going to add two ounces of simple syrup okay One simple syrup ounce of fresh lemon juice well all you have to do is shake that whoa 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 whoa, whoa. there's more stuff on that list is there okay ready yes <laughs> You're okay. I'm going to pour that in this glass with a little club soda on top. It's pretty. I want to do a little twist. You got to do it all. Okay. Out. How's that? Give that a taste. This is going to be good. You think? Is it bad? I was not expecting the pepper. Okay. Th that might be because that tequila might be spicy. Spicy tequila. <laughs> It doesn't say that it's spicy. Conky. Conky, conky. I did wow. not enjoy that. I can't drink the whole thing. No, it's a four on my list. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess I'm just not a tequila fan. I never have been. So excuse the way we've mixed these drinks. We go to bars, we don't tend them, typically. Yeah, yeah. I was going to make a bad joke, but... Yes, da I met Daniel at a bar. <laughs> Stop it. He was you're begging, the you're, 
<laughs> you were so mean. I was, was I? Was I? Okay. I'm just not gonna say that. I'm just, these are just the okay. jokes. That's you a spicy like wine. Because it's schizo. Yeah. Like really? Family. You really, really. Okay. <laughs> okay, sassy. What's next? It's a little peck on the cheek, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yep. Maybe a little tongue in the mouth at the end. <laughs> You want to tell you about the hot dog? No. <laughs> okay. I have to tell it. No, okay. Daniel, that's just disgusting. But it's funny. I'm gonna have to edit this whole. <laughs> Thanks for watching and putting up with our childish sense of humor. I'd also like to thank my sponsor, Norris Knives, maker and designer of handmade knives. Norris Knives offers a wide selection of unique custom knives, and each is handmade by the proprietor, Daniel Norris. Many of his designs are inspired by living, hunting, and fishing along the Cape Fear coast. All assembly, grinding, heat, and cryo-treating is conducted in shop in Wilmington, North Carolina. Handles are made from exotic and durable woods, mammoth tusk, as well as brass and nickel. Each knife is a functional work of art that will serve the owner well in daily use, and each is accompanied by a numbered card as proof of origin and craftsmanship. And every order placed in the month of December will come with this beautifully boxed Linux snowflake ornament, a $50 value. Thanks for watching. Happy Advent, everyone, and I hope I'll see you next week.